the last team we're doing in the team profiles and projections. Your number one ranked team from our audience, the Los Angeles Dodgers. 106 wins last year, 56 losses. They lost in the NLCS to the eventual World Series champion Atlanta Braves. They lost a guy that was really good for them down the stretch. They lost some other people that have been really good for them down the last couple stretches. They also added and re-signed some big names. Jake, what did they do this offseason? Boogity, boogity, boogity. Who they lost. You referenced this gentleman, Max Scherzer, uh, went on to get some serious money from Uncle Steve uh, because he went 7-0 and lights out down the stretch for the Dodgers. Corey Seager. How's your 300 mil in the bank from the Rangers? He gone. Kenley Jansen. Holy smokes. And Atlanta Brave, Joe Kelly, Corey Evil, Knievel's a Phil, Matt Beatty. I know Machine, I just, Albert. He's a Cardinal. Billy McKinney, your guy. He's in Oakland. Who they added? Freddie Freeman. Frederick. Whoops. Sorry about you. He goes to Cali. Clayton Kershaw's back. Chris Taylor's back. Tyler Anderson. Uh, kind of your five inning pitch king. He joins the rotation. The Heen dog, Andrew Heaney. He's there. Daniel Hudson for some bullpen help. Uh, Daniel Duffy. Uh, we'll see when he's available. Hanser Alberto raking your lefties and Kevin Pilar, our guy with the minor league deal. Man, when you see that on paper, you ask some questions, but then you go through the team, uh, and some of those questions get answered. Trev. Tell us about the hurlers. Some people are calling this a question mark. I think that's crazy. They hold this team to such a high pedestal. Let's list, list the top three dudes in the rotation. Walker Bueller, ever heard of him? 247 ERA last year, um, fourth in the Cy Young. I'm slating in Julio Urias behind uh, Bueller. I think he is the number two. Um, he went 20 and three, seventh in the Cy Young voting. Clayton Kershaw last year, everyone kind of thinks he fell off. He had a three five. The guy can still pitch. He's still doing it. Behind him, yes, the depth is going to be tested. I'm going to say it again. I say it every time. We don't know what's going to happen with Trevor Bauer. A lot of people don't think he's going to pitch for the Dodgers uh, anymore. I think he's going to pitch somewhere. We'll see how that goes. If the Dodgers have him, like, honestly, really look out. Uh, Andrew Heaney came in. Tony Gonson, my guy. I think he'll mm. slot in there, look pretty good. Um, David Price, Tyler Anderson is 100%, you know, innings eater, depth kind of guy, uh, fifth starter. Uh, so you have a nice top to that rotation, but the, the depth is questionable. Now, the bullpen, on the other hand, I think is really good. Craig Kimbrell came over, tough first outing with the Dodgers in spring training, but we'll put that aside. Uh, Blake Trinan, Daniel Hudson, Alex Vesia, Bruce Starr, our guy, Justin Brule. I mean, they have guys that can kind of sling it. No more Kenley. Uh, but, you know, if you're just looking at that team, the rotation overall with the bullpen, it's damn good. Damn good. James, that lineup, though. The lineup's better. amazing. I mean, the lineup is crazy. I have a little stupid stat for you guys, but I will just tell you the names first. You got Mookie Betts. Ever heard of him? Good. He's a good, he's a good player. You got Freddie Freeman. He came over. Not bad. Trey Turner. They traded for him. He's pretty good. Max Muncy. He was in running for like MVP votes for like half the season. And he got, got hurt. Justin Turner. Resigned him before the season before. Put up another great year. Will Smith. Catching. Chris Taylor plays all over. Very good. Cody Bellinger. Tough season last year. I think he's having a tough spring. We'll see. Gavin Lux also back in the mix after a tough season. I forget entirely, but uh, just the top of that order is so good. Top eight, maybe top nine. Mm. Red Sox were had a really good offense last year, right? Noted as one of the top offensive sure. teams. They had, out of all the players that had 200 plate appearances or more um, last year, or 100, I should say, they had, the Red Sox had uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine guys with an OPS, uh, OPS plus above 100, and one, two, three, four, five, six under. The Dodgers last year had 
had f- uh, 14 players with 200, pl- 13 players with 200 plate appearances, all but three had an OPS plus above 100. We talk 10, about that all the time. 10 above average hitters. They're not replacing starters with bullshit minor leaguers. They have guys in the wings and the depth on the bench at all times to come up and be above average major leaguers. And that's that's how they're able to win 106 fucking games. Like, bottom line, like, if you want to win that many games, like, injuries are going to happen. You have to have the depth. And when you call upon your depth, they better be good. It's not good enough just to have warm bodies. They got to be good players. And that's seemingly what the Dodgers have just continuously been able to do. Any offensive stat you look at, uh, they're like top seven in last year. And the thing is, Dodger fans talk about how crappy they were offensively last year. If you go around and listen to Dodger fans talk, they say this team can't score runs. Well, they were fourth in the league and run scored. I don't understand. Maybe they had some massive games or something like that that I'm um, missing out on, but uh, this team is, is special. Dave Roberts already said they're going to win the World Series. Mm. I missed that. He really said that. Like, we are going to win the World Series. I came to the conclusion that I like that he said that because what the hell else is he going to say? Yeah. Uh, but I'll let him know in a couple of days. Yeah, I mean, a, a lot of the OPS plus, ERA plus stats are similar to the Giants, uh, except they're, they're names you really know. Uh, they're some of the stars of baseball. So, man, adding Frederick at the top of that lineup is so deadly, uh, day in, day out, what that guy is going to provide. Um, you know, it's, it's how high does the top six guys in that lineup truly land. Um, and you know, that's, that's counting like Chris Taylor as a bonus piece who can play everywhere and have an 800 OPS. That's Cody Bellinger, a former MVP guy. It does, does the light bulb come back on for him? Gavin Lux, the former top prospect, can he have a breakout year? Like, and those are bonus points. Um, and the other thing that, that also just happened the other day before we recorded this AJ Pollock, he got Trader Joe's. Um, for dirty Craig Kimbrell, who will, who will be back in the bullpen. And I, and I like that for them. I, I think the Dodgers have their hitting. Um, if Craig Kimbrell can be Craig Kimbrell um, with Trinan, um, Hudson, Bruce Starr, like I, I, I think the bullpen without Ken Lee felt a little thin, um, and they address that in a huge way uh, with a guy who's, when he's right, his good is good. Uh, so I don't know. I, I guess... The That's question, what this team, does. this team is different. Uh, this team has different goals than your team. This team, like Trev said, is world series or bust. Like uh, our New York Yankees, if they made the world series, I'd be honest with you. That would be a win for that franchise. There's a lot of teams that are like that. The Dodgers, if they go to the world series and lose, that is a failing season. Um, so I'm interested to see how it ties into the regular season. I will say, man, uh, if you look at Bauer and Scherzer's stat sheets from last year, um, those are a lot of really good starts that they are trying to replace for the regular season between Gonsolin, uh, Heem Dog, and some other guys. So uh, they traded for you know, Scherzer. They'll just trade for the person right. they need. Well, I I will say <laughs> and we are talking about depth, and this team obviously has depth on the major league level. What made them such a weapon before was. Uh, they had one of the top farms too. They have cleared out the farm a little bit. I mean, that that Ruiz Josiah Gray trade with the Nationals to get Trey Turner and Max Scherzer, that did clear the farm. They have two quote unquote top 100 prospects. They're 88 and 99th. And, uh, you know, it's just not what the farm used to be. So, uh, that being said, it, you know, you don't have to talk about a minor league right fielder to replace Mookie Betts because that doesn't exist. So uh, I, I do think that's one thing that's slightly changed if they have to make the big, big trade. Yeah, but the depth is there. I mean, Kenley wants three years and they don't want to give him three years. And they say they stay firm on there. And they don't break at all because guess what? They can trade from their major league roster to go get Craig Kimbrell and not even blink because they have the depth. So like maybe Gavin Lux gets traded for Correa. 
half point through the year. Is that even crazy? Mm. Like, I, I know I'm just throwing out big names, but if that happens, no one is blinking. They're like, yeah, Gavin Lux and someone else went to the Twins. Now they have their future middle infield or whatever, and and it worked because the Correa is there. And now Correa is going to go to third, and Turner is going to go there, and whatever. They'll make it work in, over in L.A. Like, I don't think that's going to happen, but that's the type of nonsense that can happen when you ha- just have this much depth on the ta- the 40 man. So they did lose a lot of starts with Scherzer and Bauer, but they'll get them back somewhere. I, I just want to go over the schedule a little bit from last year. Remind you, this team did not win their division. They did not win the division. 593, 593, that's April and May. 654, that's June. Then they dipped to their low winning percentage in July at 538. Then they're like, you know what? We really sucked uh, going 14 and 12 in July. Let's go 21 and 6 in August, 19 and 7 in September. Good for 778, 731. Oh, yeah. And for good measure, that's when our last three games in October. Their lowest month was 538. And you do not have a team like that without depth. You guys are totally right. The depth is being questioned more now than ever. So that is something we have to think about this season. Uh, but I didn't know this. David Price pitched to a four ERA last year, over 70 innings. Did you guys know that? It's doing his thing. Okay. I mean, look, I'm high on this Dodgers team. We all are. Uh, I, James, the, the disgust in your voice and the look on your face when they said, They'll just go get who they want to, who they need. They'll go trade for who they need. Like I like it. I mean, I don't hate the Dodgers. No, 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 no. But, but Jake, you wanted your team to do. It, yeah. To be yes. That. Yeah. They're, but but Jake's right. Like they're playing a different. They're they're playing a different game than a lot of other teams. They don't give a fuck about the the luxury tax. Yeah. At all. I mean, that's that's an advantage for them is they do have a massive TV deal. I'm not going to say like we we should be curtailing spending, but like. They do have an advantage. They can go over because they are guaranteed a lot of money. And the, but the, but here's the thing: other organizations might say, you know what? Let's let's just make a ton more profit. They're going out and trying to win. This is L.A. and like they have turned. I mean, L.A. is a is a it's a baseball town. I mean, obviously, oh, never mind. The Rams just won the Super Bowl. It was a baseball town. It's probably Rams town now. Lakers. They're good. Uh, I don't think they're going to get challenged in the same way. I I, I, I took the Giants over but I don't think they're going to get challenged in the same way they did last year. I think they didn't see that coming at all. They had a little rough stretch. I don't know if it was it in April or was it in May. Uh, and in the end they caught, they were chasing them the whole way and then they beat them in the playoffs. So uh, I don't know what the number is. I'm going to take the over on the Dodgers. <laughs> it's pretty high. What is it? It's 97 and a half over. I think they're going to win hundred games. The one time they were human. Or not good, James. I bet you'll love this. You probably guess. Name one situation where they weren't over five hundred against good teams. Fake baseball, extra inning games. Oh yeah, they probably don't give a shit about that. They had a three hundred winning percentage in fake baseball. They only want to play real baseball. I'm torn on this one because I have given out a lot of overs. <laughs> this will be my nineteenth over if I give this. Um, they win ninety six games. They Damn win the division. It, Trevor. They're going under. You don't That's believe just that at all. because I pick so many overs. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, change a pass to over. I mean, you don't believe this one. <laughs> I was going under. Fuck you, Trev. Let's fucking ride then. You're so soft. Um, because I have real arguments for it besides picking overs. I, I, I think the Scherzer Bauer thing is really real. I, I mean, do that too, is. Bro. That is 28 starts of ace level baseball um, that is now gone. Um, and I think a team will feel that. And, and I do think the depth is different than other Dodgers teams. And I think this division with the Padres coming back, 95 wins is an incredible year. It's a high line. You know, there's some risk if there's no injuries and this team is the Dodgers. I think you're clear and you're right, Jim. It's a hundred, but. Sometimes baseball finds a way I'm going under. All right. You guys both took the under on the Dodgers. God. Bad bet. Whatever. You know what? I didn't even realize I was going, like BBD said, I just won the 15 and 15 on the overs and unders. Had no idea I was doing that. 
balanced guy. Does this team win the World Series? You had a couple, not the overs, not the unders. (laughs) So so I think technically you went 14-14. And two. Uh, World Series? Dave Mm -hmm. Roberts said yes. No. I can't tell you. I don't know. Oh, wow. I can't tell you. Tell us later on. I'll say no, and everyone... Everyone starts Mickey Mouse and them for the 2020 World Series. Ooh. Ooh. Go Dodgers. K- Kimbrel versus Pollock, Game 7 World Series to close it out. I am going to be at a lot of Dodger games this year, so um, if you see me, he'll be wearing a yellow shirt, blue hat. Maybe. Sign above his head says, I'm Trevor Plouffe. If you want to come hang, make sure you bring me a Modelo. Hmm. That's the password. That's the price. That's the price. <laughs> That's the NL West. That's the team profiles and projections. Thank you for tuning in. If you have been tuning in for these and uh, time to start the season, time to make the episode structured and uh, NL recap, AL week recap, slump watch, all that good shit. Awards. Awards. And yeah, we'll be live streaming on uh, opening day. So tune in for that. I think we're done. I think we're good. Any parting words? I got the ball, man. This was hard work. We did it. We're done. We finished it. We now have.